What's up, YouTube? It is Sir Scratch a Lot back here from Central Pennsylvania. It is a beautiful weekend. Happy Memorial Day to everyone out there, but obviously, you know, the reason is we're not, it's not just a three day weekend, you know. This is to remember those who uh, give the ultimate sacrifice. So, you know, keep them in your thoughts and uh, as we move into tomorrow. But, you know, it's Sunday mid morning here. We're getting closer to the afternoon. Yesterday, Friday was a yard work day. Yesterday, we cleaned out the basement. We cleaned out our shed. We have a yard sale coming up in two weeks. I mean, we're, we're ready to go. We're, we're uh, going all out. I have some of my, uh, I, um, I'm, I'm making something for the yard sale. We'll get to that, get to that in just a little bit here. So, uh, we're going to make, uh, the scratching a little bit quick here. We decided, I decided, I decided to just go, uh, to my local store yeah, it was a it's a local sheets and lo and behold I pull up here and there is a freaking Lamborghini. Now it's uh, excuse me, it's the same guy uh, that has it around town. I forget what his name is. I don't even know what he does, but he has and I'm not a car nut. I know what a Lamborghini is. I'm not sure if it was like I'm not sure what was after that. I'm not sure if it was a Ventador or whatever. However, you would classify them. Uh, I just know that it was awesome. It was like a dark ruby red with, uh, uh, obviously, it was a convertible. I mean, this thing was just beautiful. And the guy, dorkiest looking dude you're going to see with uh, with those, uh, he had these weird sandals on, just sitting at sheets, drinking a coffee on his phone. Right across from him is a two dollars $300,000 car, probably more than that, I don't know. Uh, I talked to him before a couple times. He only takes it out, obviously, when it's beautiful out. And it has been Friday. It was like 91. Yesterday it was 94. And today it's supposed to be like 90. So I, I, weather tomorrow, I think it's supposed to be off and on rain. But anyway, uh, let's get to the tickets here. I got two tickets. I got a Gus Bucks. And I got Fantastic Tens. So let's start with the Gus Bucks. Let's go. I just bought one of each. You know, hey, let's go, Gus Bucks. Let's get your shit together. Uh, I mean, sound a little cloggy. Uh, the, the air quality here in Central PA has been horrible. Like, you can literally look out here and see the pine trees shaking off all their pollen. Just, it's ridiculous. So, anyway, I'm having trouble. Uh, and I, I actually had allergy shots back when I was a couple of, probably about six, seven years ago. But I usually have one flare up in the beginning of the year, just, you know, just to screw with you. And, uh, so anyway, let's get the scratcher. We're gonna use uh, my house, one of my house keys here. We're gonna go with the Penn State house key. Hopefully, we have better luck. Uh, we're gonna I think it was that uh, PA Scratch King or something uses it, uh, uses a key a lot. So I, I think someone else uh, forgot the uh, the poster's name. I should remember this. I'm sorry, my uh, head's a little cloggy as I'm rambling, but. Uh, I'm going to take a page out of your guys' book. We're going to try the key. Why not? All right, so Gus Bucks, straightforward, guys. You know the Gus Bucks. Numbers match, win. Paul Print, win. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, and the Gus wins all 12. That would be awesome. Let's let's get the uh, the Gus symbol. So we're just going to we're gonna scratch the play area first. Twenty three. Have you guys, look at this. Have you noticed? 5, 10, 10, 5. That's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 70. These are all really low numbers. Uh, are we going to get the Gus box here? I don't know. It feels like, oh, we we did, guys. That is freaking awesome. Holy shit. Gus Bucks. Oh, my God. I'm, like, scratching these. I usually don't scratch the prizes. And then I'm, you know, I'm scratching along here little by little. And then I'm like, what? These are all really low numbers. This is going to be a, what a, fine. $100 ticket? Oh, Gus. Look at that. The key to success. PA Scratch King. Shout out. Look at that. That is, oh my gosh. I'm like sitting here. It's going to be $100. Well, $100 or $75. 10, 20, 30. 
No, it should be 100. 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars. Wow. Wow. That's awesome, guys. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I've gotten some hundred dollar winners plenty of times before, but this is the first time hitting the Gus Bucks. Obviously, it would have been awesome if it was bigger, but hey, what the hell am I talking about? Stop your bitching. Hundred dollars on the Gus symbol. That's the win it all. I wasn't going to buy one of these, actually. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye, as in, I went for this, just one of these, and I'm like, you're the Gus Bucks. She's like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, give me one. You know, Gus Bucks has been playing, paying good out for everyone else. I've been doing pretty well on it, but there it is, guys. $100 winner. Oh, that's crazy. I'm like, 5, 10, 10, 5, 20, 10, 10. I'm like, this, if this isn't a Gus, this, if this isn't a win all, this is just, I'm going to be pretty sick, but there it is, $100 winner. That is awesome, Gus. Yeah, you keep waving. Thanks. All right, guys. Now, let's keep it going. This is the ticket. I, I played a couple times. I do not like this ticket. I know you're like, well, what the hell are you buying it for? <laughs> That's a very good and logical point. Um, so, <laughs> let's see what we can do here. This is uh, 10 symbol. Win the prize under that automatically. Reveal a $10 symbol. That's kind of a crappy, you know, way to break even. But, you know, I could see them throwing up a bunch of those throughout the ticket. I'm sure that's already been happening. And then the 10 times is the top symbol that we'd want here. So we're going to just go and scratch. So there's no win all. Which is fine. I must say, the key works pretty good. All right, so we don't have any win auto wins or anything like that. So let's keep going here. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, we have that yard sale coming up. And like this time last year, I agreed to help out my friend with a fundraiser. And I decided I'm not a cook. I like cooking. I don't have, you know, I make do with what I have here. Uh, but I do enjoy the different flavors and trying to learn. And uh, so I decided to make something from scratch. So I, I made and had that bacon in it. You know, that's the big thing. It's like the bacon. It's called the bacon and brouhaha. Uh, beer and bacon. Um, so anyway, I decided to I decided to do a. Uh, it was actually turned out really well, but uh, it was a maple sausage, apple maple sausage, which by itself is delicious, guys. Go to your local butcher if they have it. It's amazing. So my local butcher had it. I'm like, okay, let me just do a test run. Give me a pound and let's see how it goes. So I, I grilled them up on the. I put them on the grill, grilled them just until they weren't almost, just until they were, just before they were done. And I took them off and uh, then I wrapped them up. I took bacon and I covered the bacon in brown sugar. Because what that's going to do is that's going to uh, caramelize and it's going to add a sweet and salty balance to the bacon. It's freaking delicious. I wrapped the bacon. I cooked the bacon partially just until... It was, a lot of the fat was rendered off, guys, but not enough where it was like, you know, well done, overdone, and then you can't wrap it. What I did then was I uh, wrapped, I think it was half a piece of bacon. I cut them strips in half, and it was half a piece of bacon, wrapped it around the sausage, and then uh, put a toothpick through the middle. I'm sorry, guys. Put the toothpick through the middle, and then went and... Um, cooked it in the oven until it was well done. Probably not well done, but probably another ten minutes in the oven on four hundred degrees. And I mean, it turned out. So you had. So that was part one. Let me scratch a couple numbers here. So here's our numbers. Let's see what we can do here. First matching number twenty six. Let's get a double winner here. Let's make this would be amazing, guys. Let's scratch another number here. 38, oh, let's go halfway, let me finish my story up, 16, nope, alright, so, anyway, I, so you cook them until they're obviously well done, because it is pork uh, product there, you don't want it to not be done, and then we, we wrap them up, toothpicked them, cooked them up, and once they were out, you're like, okay, that's, that's awesome, but I wanted something to complement it. So I was going breakfast, you know, apple, maple, sausage, uh, and then we had the bacon on there, you know. It could definitely stand on its own without anything else, but I'm like, hey, this is for charity. 
uh, all the money raised is going back to charity. Let's let's do something a little bit more to set it over the top. So I came up with the idea. I'm sure it's out there already. Uh, not that I found though. Of I took uh, maple syrup, just sort of like a for for this purpose, just a store bought maple syrup, nothing crazy, and I. Uh, basically added some ingredients. I'm not going to tell you guys all the ingredients, but basically the end result was a vanilla maple jalapeno syrup. It smells amazing. There's three different levels of heat you can have. You can have just the the mildest of mild. I'm talking you guys won't get any heat off of it at all, but it has the flavor of jalapeno. So you're getting that taste and it balances with the vanilla, the sweet vanilla, and the and the already sweet syrup. Uh, it gives that nice balance. Now you dip that in with my maple sausage and the bacon. It's out of this world. So anyway, fast forward. That's coming up again. I'm going to try to perfect perfect this dish one more year. I don't like to do back to back, but this is my first time doing it. So second time around, we're going to do uh, the same exact thing. And we're actually going to, uh, at the yard sale, I'm going to bottle up. I'm going to make a whole bunch of, of this syrup. And I bought, what do I have? I have 12, basically, bottles to bottle it up with and try to sell. I'm going to have some out there as a sample. So I'm pretty excited about that. But I, you know, I don't know why I felt like sharing that with you guys. But uh, it's something that's pretty cool uh, that I really uh, like doing. 21 between, nope. So... We're gonna see how the batch turns out. Uh, you can make, you can usually make a, a decent amount at one time with the jalapeno, the vanilla, and some of the other ingredients I throw in there. All right, guys, we're down to the last number. Back on topic after I just got done ranting about delicious, delicious vanilla uh, syrup. We are down to one number here. Uh, it's not looking good for the ten dollar ticket. Fantastic tens, my ass. But uh, let's go. Oh, well, that was easy enough. It's an eight. Nope, no winner. But the real star of the day is not this scumbag $10 ticket. It is the Gus Bucks. I finally, I was just talking about how I have not hit one of these, you know, win-it-alls on any tickets since my win. Obviously, it would have been nice to see all 20s or I think like PA Scratch King hit a 1,000 off the script. went all, but what the hell, you know. One ticket, one single ticket, 45, ticket 45. Hundred dollar winner. Got to take that all day, guys. That's just that's absolutely amazing. So uh, now here's something for you guys. I don't know what your thoughts are when you see a winner like this. Obviously, it doesn't guarantee anything with the rest of the roll. But are you inclined to go back and not dump all hundred back in? But are you inclined to go back and you know pick up the next two off the roll just to see if there's any you know strings there? You know, I might be. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, could be something that we want to do. But hey, $100 winner. Uh, thanks for listening to me rant about the heat here. Planted some grass yesterday. Got a lot of yard work done. Uh, now it's picnic time this afternoon. And the dogs are quiet because the dogs are out and they're sleeping up on the couch. So uh, you're probably like, where the hell are those coon hounds uh, barking at? They're not. They're all chilling out. We have the AC on a little bit here. Um, so thanks for listening to my... Uh, my syrup story if i make enough and it goes well maybe i'll send you guys a couple uh we have that giveaway coming up for 100 subs trying to get up there to the 100 subscribers uh maybe i'll do uh, another giveaway here depending on how the maple syrup uh the vanilla jalapeno syrup uh actually uh sells and like last year i grew everything out of my garden so it was all like homegrown jalapenos i didn't go to the store and buy any Grew them right here. Used a couple different kinds of jalapenos. Uh, so it was really good, guys. But hey, thank you. We're going to go sight in my air rifle now because there's going to be some... Uh, just grab some of these Benjamin pellets. There's some rabbits that are uh, up on my shit list. So you guys have a great day. I'm going to stop ranting. Have a safe and happy Memorial Day. Remember everyone that gave their lives so I can put this video up here. That you guys can all put this video up. You know... Just remember that. I know you guys, it's the same old, same old, everyone's saying it, but, you know, it's really a time of reflection and just realizing how far we've come as a country. So, I will, because of those who fought and gave the ultimate sacrifice, I will be putting up another video. Uh, we're going to cash this out. We have a, uh, I have a couple things that this could go towards, actually. Well, this is, now remember, I don't know, actually, I don't know if you guys do remember this. Uh, 
you're at 15 minutes right now, so I think for listening to me rant, uh, I might try to give give away a bottle of my jalapeno vanilla syrup. So comment below. Uh, I'm going to do my best to try to get you, and I'm not guaranteeing it. I'm going to do my best to ship you a bottle. Uh, they're a real small little glass, like this big, so it's not going to be the, the most ridiculous amount. But if you guys are interested, comment below. 15 minute video. I talk so much. I'm sorry, guys, but um, you know, just uh, stay safe. Have a great Memorial Day. Uh, this, uh, my ADD uh, kicked in just again. Remember what I said. Anything I win over $20 is going right in the savings account. So I'm literally going to go to the store, cash this in, put the $100 in my savings account, done. No questions asked, done. So you guys have a great day. Stay safe. Said it 45 times. Sir Scratch a lot. See you later.